Hey, this is Michael Kolbeck here, your truth activator. I'm driving, and this is something you shouldn't do, is drive and record a video at the same time. But uh, I felt really called at the moment, and I am driving, and I'm not in a place where I can pull off. And um, I just really wanted to come on and talk about some stuff that I'm reading right now, actually. And... I'm trying to figure out how to tie this all together, but I've always been fascinated by initiations and initiatory rituals and rites that you see in ancient civilizations, that you see in certain tribes, in certain cultures around the world, and I have craved those as I've gotten older because I feel like there was a part, there was this huge missed opportunity and I believe this is prevalent in Western culture and Western civilization, is that there are lots of different ways for initiation to occur. And when I'm talking about initiation, for me specifically, I'm talking about from boyhood to manhood. From, become, from being a boy to becoming a man. I'm not going to go into terminologies and dynamics or anything around that. But... There's been lots of those throughout history and lots of those that certain cultures do and continue to do. However, in Western civilization, it's almost non-existent anymore. There's nothing that really challenges the soul, that really challenges the spirit, that really challenges, challenges the sense of who you are and helps you to remember more of who you are and stand stronger in the truth of who you are and come to know thyself better through the experience that you have, which is that initiation experience. An initiation experience is meant to be transformative, to take you from something that you knew, from your limited place of knowledge, and expand that and explode that out so that you can become something greater, so that you can understand the true gift and the true power that you have within you, the true gift of life, and you have a passion for life to live it. And as I read about these initiations this morning, I, I, was, I was pissed off on one hand, and on the other hand, I, I was very sad. Now, a couple of years ago, I came across, there was a, a, a ninjutsu practitioner uh, that I have um, followed since I was in junior high. And the... Um, that I followed since junior high, and I found a few years ago that he, he's still teaching, and that he did in September, every year, he has a retreat. And you go there, and you go to South Carolina, and you go and you hike through these backwoods, and you hike through this river, and then you get to a point where there's these, uh, these cold waterfalls, and you stand in these cold waterfalls, and it's essentially an initiation, a ritual, and man, I wanted to do that. And when I first found out about it, I told myself all these reasons why I couldn't do it. This is about four years ago. Then the next year, some other things in life were going present, present in my life. And there was no way I was leaving those present things because I was not grounded enough in myself at that point. There was no way I was leaving those particular things that were showing up in my life to go and do this. Then I went through the cancer treatment now, now I'm continuing to try and get my body back, get my strength back, have my body operate in a consistent fashion so that, you know, a day like today, even leaving the house, it's kind of difficult. It's unpredictable. And, you know, as I worked through that and as I thought about that and as I read about the initiations, and I won't go into the details and the aspects of it right now, but I thought, holy shit. What if an initiation, no matter what culture or time or anything that you were from, an initiation is not necessarily meant to be a pleasant experience. It's meant to push your limitations. It's meant for you to reach down deeper into the core and the truth of who you are. To remember more of who you are. And I... I suddenly had this epiphany that I was like, oh my God. I started my initiation journey 
four years ago when I said I had enough of the abusive treatment that I had put up with in my marriage for so long. And I started finally coming home to myself. I started trying to figure out who is Michael. I started trying to remember who I was because I had been in an abusive relationship for such a long time and always taking care of others and always being an other-oriented person and a people-pleasing type person that I completely and utterly to the neglect of myself and abandonment of myself therefore had no idea who I truly and really was. And a little over four years ago, I said, enough. I'm done with this. I'm not doing this anymore. And I left. And I left my abusive marriage. Then the real training started. I didn't realize it at the time. I didn't realize I had entered into the initiation process. And then through all sorts of things that I've done over the past number of years here. <sighs> all of this has been the initiation process for me. When I was in a relationship after my marriage, a relationship that I was actually absolutely thought was the relationship I would spend the rest of my life in. When that relationship ended, I ended that relationship in love. As much as my heart was broken, the last words I spoke to that woman, as she sat on her bed and as I left that night, I leaned it down and I pulled her forward to me with my hand on the back of her head. I kissed her on the top of the head and I said, I love you. And I left. That was part of the initiation. It was part of, are you strong enough to stand in the truth of who you are and in your authenticity and in your integrity? Or are you going to abandon yourself, continue to abandon yourself? And then as I had to face the rest of my cancer treatments alone. Now I had family there to support me. Don't, don't think I didn't have people there to support me. But needless to say, I didn't have that one person that I thought was going to be there. And I remember days and days and days and days upon days sitting in my apartment, staring at the wall half comatose from the chemo, from the radiation, and then the pain, and the surgery, and all of this wrapped up in the heartbreak of everything. And yet, all of this has been my initiation. Because all of this has been about me finding my own strength, my own power, my own inner truth, because there was no fucking way in hell that once I was diagnosed with cancer, and that was after I had said enough and left my abusive marriage, there was no way in hell at that point that when I had come to a place where I finally had started coming home to myself and coming home to the fact that it's about my purpose and about self-actualization, that there was no way that right when I was discovering all these things that I was going to check out of life in any way, shape, or form, physical, mental, psychological, spiritual. No way. Now, does that mean that all? Does that mean that 100% of the time I'm always in that all-powerful state? Hell no. There's times where I'm a fucking mess on the floor because the pain is too bad, whether that's heartbreak, whether that's real physical pain, emotional pain, whatever it was. And some days, at these times, continues to be like right now, in this moment, I am having pretty strong physical pains right now. But I am choosing to acknowledge the pain is there, to not ignore it, to simply acknowledge it. Say, I, I understand, I see you. I see the pain is there. I know what you're asking me to do. And right now, I can't do that at the moment. I'm driving. You're going to just have to be. Again, it's all part of the initiatory phase. Initiation is about dealing with the realities 
the difficulties of life. It's not some magical thing. It's about dealing with the harsh realities of life sometimes and being able to, in the midst of that, choose your response. It doesn't mean you won't cry. It doesn't mean you won't experience pain. It doesn't mean you won't experience anger or grief or anything in those times. But it means you will also choose your response and know that no matter what, in this moment, I am strong enough and everything will be okay. You draw upon that internal power. And some people will look at that and say, well, they prefer to draw upon an external power. For me, everything comes from within. Because even to draw upon an external power, such as Jesus or something like that, it still comes from within you. And that power and that source of life or that source of God is all around and it flows through your very being. So I just wanted to share this because what if what you're going through or what if what you have been through was or is your own initiation? And what if it looks different than what we've often thought of as initiation? There are initiation ceremonies where they will bury people in the ground. And it's to have them face certain fears and overcome those fears with courage and with strength. And there's, there's a lot of other initiation rituals out there. And yet, what if your initiation rituals just happen to look different? There's not these traditional rituals that are enacted anymore, and therefore, life has to bring you rituals of its own. Life has to bring you these initiations of its own. And you then choose to walk through them and how you will walk through them. And just like being buried in the earth, it's not pretty. It's not like some magical thing happens. It's not like the person who's being buried in the earth in a ritualistic initiation ceremony is enjoying the process. It's triggering all kinds of fears within them that they have to deal with, that they have to process. The things that we go through in our lives, the big, some of the big monumental things that we go through are, in my opinion, initiations. We just don't see them as that a lot of time. I completely miss the fact that for the last few years, I have been going through various stages of initiation. And, and when I speak about it, and that's why I wanted to record this right now, I feel so empowered because I draw up on that. There are days where I have bad days now and I can look back and I can say, you know what, you can overcome this day because why? Because previously in the course of my cancer treatments, it was a hell of a lot worse. And guess what? I made it through that. So you think I can make it through today? Hell yeah, I can make it through today. It's about grounding that truth within you. I know that's long enough for today. I hope this has given you something to chew on. Blessings and love to every one of you. This is Michael Kolbeck, your truth activator.